Hello there fellow NPCs, I am Carbon Scythe and today we're getting back into Artemis. We have just been able to be reconnected with peop the people in our lives again. Life. Singular. Anyway, people in our life again. And uh, yeah, we had to... Uh, we got a new super uh, exclusive phone, only two in the world I would assume. Uh, Kindra's in mine. Uh, Coco has a new uh, file for Yoon, so uh, she doesn't attack her in the future. Well, we are going to meet Yoon uh, in a few days. I don't remember if it was uh, tomorrow or the day after, uh, but it's. I denied her advances when she visited us over at Kindra's place. And we got to see some page booby. P page titty? Uh, whatever. Uh, we got to see some of Paige. <laughs> because uh, Naomi did not like, uh, was paying her back for uh, tricking uh, her into sending a bikini phone call uh, to us. Yeah, so that's a lot of fun. They're good girls. Uh, funny as hell hell. And now we have received a voicemail from Reina. But we cut off there because we are now entering the server room of Initium Vitas with Reina and V. Yeah. So with that, let's go. Ooh, the server room area is very tidy. Not a single patch cable dangling or random long cables. Cable management is beautiful. I'm not sure what you're referring to, but the guys down here keep things well maintained. There's a shared office next door, where you'll be with the guys who do IT work for the other div divisions. Just remember, you're not support. Don't let them bully you into doing things for them. However, I'm still trying to hire an uh, IT director, so you may have to do some things for, uh, for us at least. Any request uh, will come from me or Robert directly though. Don't let anyone from our group harass you for support. Unless you feel charitable and only has, uh, and only as long as it doesn't cut into your projects. Understood. Perfect. Unfortunately, Robert had had a last-minute issue to resolve with a client. Otherwise, he'd be here giving you a better tour. The first row are ours. Per Robert's specs, they were recently upgraded. The physical. Uh, Units are only accessible by specific personnel. In our case, that's only you, Robert, and myself. We'll have keys to the server units. Hmm. Not bad. Did you have a third party set them up? No, that's also Robert's work. Very nice. I'm not saying all companies are malicious, but you can never be too cautious. If you have the talent, best to use in-house. Absolutely. Do you get Robert's encrypted email with the keys and codes? God damn! Maybe that's the company standards. Yes, but I have to say, the encryption was very weak. I was able to hack it in under a minute. Are you being serious? <laughs> no, I just wanted to sound cool. The encryption is solid. Whew! Sounds like you and Robert are going to get along just fine. So I know it's been discussed already, but explain it to me again. The whole white hat hacker thing. Is that like an a hacker attack? Alright, look. This is the third time you've asked. Just come out and say it. I got asked all I get all asked all the time. I'm used to it by now. Excuse me? You want something? Outside of this job. I'm just curious about what it means. Well, whatever is on your mind has your offensive security engineer. I ensure the bad guys stay away from our company and the plug hole any holes found in your network. Same goes for the clients. And I need to say this, so please don't be offended. Please don't ask me to do anything illegal. Doing so will result in my immediate resignation. <laughs> I assure you, V, I would never ask you to do anything illegal. 
Fantastic! Fantastico. So, see you on Monday. See you on, see you then, V. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. I love her forwardness. So, it was worth a shot. I guess she did really have something she wanted done outside of work. So much has happened. And all within just a week. Got discharged from therapy. Got evicted. Nearly went homeless. Then I'm not. By sheer luck. Went from having barely anyone to talk to with. To feeling overwhelmed. Coco is more functional than when we first fired her up. Artemis! Fucking surreal. Can't see all of a sudden. Why can't you just... Why can't you just leave me alone? Oh, are we speeding? I just keep driving aimlessly. Drive until all these sounds are gone. Or not. Hey, Kendra! Hey -o. Will you be back later? Will you be back later this afternoon? Yeah, why? What's up? Cool, well, um, I just wanted to see you before I leave for my venue. I also wanted to ask you something before I headed out, but I'll wait until you get back. Kinra? No more surprises. Just say what you want to say from now on. Yes, right. Uh, things have been a little off between us. I want you to be comfortable and happy. So I was thinking we could just get away for a day or two and catch up properly. Let's take our minds off things too. Hmm. Yeah. I'm game for that. Yes! What time am I, what time am I heading out? Like six-ish. No major rush. Uh, sounds good then. I should be back around three or four. I just wanted an early start on my day and um, I had to take care of some errands. Okay, Darkus. Is everything okay? Need my friend anything before I leave? Thanks, Kendra. I'm good. Focus on your show. Thanks. See you later. Drive safe. See ya, Kendra. Dr. Karaherian. Kurt, good morning. She looks very different with her hair let down and without glasses. I'm sorry, I wasn't expecting you today. Hey Claire, sorry, it's been a long week and I just subconsciously drove this direction. After being here every Friday for three years straight. Force of habit, I guess. Sorry, you look like you're busy. I'll leave. Kurt, you look troubled. Are you okay? I'm not sure. Hmm. Kurt, are you here to continue our session? Or do you wish for this visit to be an informal one? Oh. Informal, I guess? I don't want to feel like I'm back at square one. Kurt, continuing our session isn't a sign of failure. It's quite the opposite, actually. But very well. I was about to head out to... I was about to head to the Japanese garden not far from here. You and me and we can talk. Are you sure? I'm not interrupting a client session, right? Kurt, you know that Friday is generally my day off. Stop stalling, let's discuss what's troubling you. Let me grab my purse and you can follow me there. Please, come in. Well, apparently we've been flirting with her uh, on and off. These past three years with us, uh, so I guess we we will be checking her out. Uh, but uh, yeah, Whew, feeling better already. <laughs> Are you okay, Kurt? Onion, I mean onion ninjas. <laughs> they just never leave you alone, do they? There we go. Dude, that is a fancy dress for an e for going shopping. No, wait, no. Japanese gardens are not shopping. Wow. 
You come here often. I do. It's one of the few places that I have no technology. So it's a great place to disconnect from gadgets. Enjoy coming here particularly in the morning. Very few people come by this early, so it sometimes feels like my own private garden. <laughs> well, thank you for doing this. I didn't mean to impose on your personal time. Don't apologize, Kurt. This is your first Friday without therapy, so I naturally was wondering how you were doing. I'm glad you stopped by. This is one of my favorite spots. I find the flow of water very calming. Thanks, Claire. Again, sorry for approaching you without any notice. It's fine. I said I'd keep your usual time slot open during this transition. My expectation of you is a failure, but I also don't expect you to complete a maze on the first try. So I'm happy to be here for you. To coach you through your journey, if that's what you need. Wow. Am I that much of an open book? <laughs> of course not. Remember, it's my duty to understand you. And to help you understand the things around you. Also, after three years, I like to think I've become well, well versed in Kurt. Hmm. Thanks. Where do I even start? Kurt, remember, the order doesn't matter. Speak your mind. Also, we're in public right now. Be mindful of what you want to talk about. Okay. Compliment, I really don't know. What could we be complimenting on? On her looks? I have to say, this whole setting, how the sun hits you, it compliments you very well. I think I put the pieces together. This field trip of yours is simply a means to go on a date. Without calling it one. I'm on to you, DK. <laughs> Girl's favorite icebreaker. Sorry. You said to speak my mind. And well... Let's try this then. Look at the koi fish and say something. Sushi. Kurt. <laughs> alright, alright. Kendra Yoon Inc. Interview. Hmm. Well, we are not uh, uh, missing out on anything, so let's take them in order. Kendra. Oh good, you made a new friend. Not exactly. We knew each other in high school. Well, sort of. How do you mean? She's this prodigy child. She was in a high school freshman at 11. We never really hung out outside of school. I mean, we didn't quite hang out much at school either. Except for when we um, got paired for our senior project together. That's when we really got to know each other. Anyways, we bumped into each other last Friday. I was evicted and needed a place to crash, so we're roommates now. And how are you two doing? <sighs> giving it uh, giving it thoughts, maybe that's why I'm freaking out. Everything just feels similar to when me and Cass... I mean, not completely. Tell me about Kindra. Honestly, I don't know much. She's completely different from a person from when we were in high school. I mean, she's not bad at all. She was this real timid girl back then. Proper, well-spoken. Now she's just too wild and free, you know. Very erratic. Yeah, these are very good ways to dis describe uh, Kindra. She loves to tease and joke. Make a real hard to read her sometimes. So the uncertainty of what uh, she'll do next causes some anxiety. Did she ever put you in danger? Or do you feel like it's... Uh, or do you feel like it while around her? Um... Oh, sweet baby Jesus. That, that was my fault. Nope. Not really. I mean, I do feel that she has my best interest in mind. 
Have you discussed your concern with, concerns with her? Not completely, no. I mean, we tried, but we ended up going off topic as decided to watch TV. I suggest trying again. If she is very free-spirited and you're very grounded, you draw polar opposites to a degree and you'll need to find a middle ground. Especially if you're sharing a living space with her. Establishing boundaries and addressing concerns are vital things for any type of relationship. But more importantly, compromise is truly key. You can't force her to revolve around your world, and the same goes for her. You two will need to work together if she means something to you, friend or more than. Your personalities can coexist if you talk to each other's concerns. Yume. I've set her pretty bad this week. After not getting the job, I sort of just shut down emotionally. I felt worthless. So I kinda threw my phone into the wilderness. I shut everyone out, basically. Why did you feel the need to shut people out? I don't know. I just felt exhausted, you know? I mean, as of last Friday, I only had two people in my life, really. You and you. But, uh... You already know my history with Yoon, but I didn't know that not answering her calls for a few days would put her in distress. Does she know about your incident? Every bit of it. Good. I know. Like I mentioned already, up until last week, I barely had anyone in my life. Now I'm part of some tattoo cult. You join a cult? <laughs> so, sorry, a sorority. Same shit though, right? Sororities and fraternities aren't as frivolous as television portrays them to be. I mean, sure, things can get uh, interesting. But sororities and fraternities are great communities to be part of as you go through your college life. Hmm. So you're back in college now. And how did you join a sorority? Did you mean a fraternity? <laughs> uh, well... Oh, the whole nine inches. Leave some out some stuff. Uh, leave some stuff out. <laughs> we are still in public. And she doesn't need to know everything. You and sorority needed help with their initiation event uh, thing. Apparently, I helped them prevent someone they really didn't want like from joining their sorority. So they made me part of their group, something like that. Oh, this is great news then. What do you mean? Like I said before, sororities and fraternities are great places to build communities and friendships. Yeah, but the CEO of the place I had my recent interview at? She is the former president of that sorority. I'd feel awkward if I were to run into her. Anyways, I did my part. I don't see how they could benefit me. Hmm. And last but not least, the fucking interview. You old roommate messaged her, her about this promotion. She immediately pulled some strings and got me an interview. I didn't get the job. I'm sorry to hear that, Kurt. But what about the voicemail from Reina? We have still haven't heard that. It's fine. I just wish I knew what exactly disqualified me. You didn't get it because you got disqualified? What for? Well, that's exactly what we asked. I don't know. That's what the CEO said, but she didn't say exactly what the problem was. <laughs> Maybe they found out I fluffed my resume. How much did you fluff it? Like 70% of it? Cart. What? Places weren't hiring me, so I need to go to with a plan B. I really thought I had it, though. I answered all their questions to the best of my knowledge. All the technical questions, I probably couldn't answer like two or three of them. 
But I was honest about it and not knowing how to answer. Well, employers aren't obligated to explain why they didn't choose a candidate. Maybe she had a change of heart then. How so? She left me a voicemail like a day or two ago. Saying she really needed to speak with me and explain a few things. Interesting. What did she say? Oh, I don't plan on calling her back. Why not? I didn't get hired, so I'm not just so I'm just moving on. Kurt, instead of burning bridges, perhaps you should hear them out. Yeah, especially if you're also going to be part of the sorority. You need to try to mend those bridges the best you possibly can. Even if you can't be friends, you should not be enemies, you know? So, you should do something. I mean, it hurts now, but it's just gonna suck more later if you don't. Expanding your network of contacts can be as good as a letter of recommendation. What do you mean? Establishing a professional relationship could open more doors for you. Especially if it's with a CEO. We'll see, I guess. <sighs> the sun is fully out now. This weather is lovely. Dude, we actually had this uh, nice spring weather here in Sweden just today, actually. It's been uh, cold, we even had snow just a few days ago, but today it was almost perfect t-shirt weather, honestly. Let's relocate, Kurt. Then we'll continue. Okay, sure. Oh, god damn, she knows Japanese. I am not even gonna try that. As always, enjoy your visit. Enjoy your visit, Claire. Here we are. I trust DK, but I still want to. But I still want to be vague about this. Kendra asked me to help with something else. Just struck a very, very specific chord. Then she proposed we become partners to work on tech together. I almost snapped at her when she said that. Maybe I did. I don't know. It was an over overwhelming thought. I, th I felt I had this, but... I don't know. I feel like I do. Then I feel like I don't. Kurt. Does she know what happened between you and Cassandra? No. At least not the full story. You need to be fair to her then. Explain yourself in your actions. She can't read your mind. If she had uh, if she had known, maybe she would have worded it better. Or better prepared her proposal. Going by what you said, it sounds a lot like you're overstimulated. You went from having few friends, little excitement, little to look little to look forward to. And all of a sudden, you got all at once. A mass of new people are introduced into your life, several events came crashing on you. Now you feel some kind of, kind of expectation. It's understandable what you're experiencing. You simply need to learn when to step back and recharge from your duties and the people around you. You sound like you want to shut some people out and I don't think that's wise to do. This is an opportunity for you to continue restoring your former self. Or even better, build a greater version of your former self. I don't follow. You have the tools in front of you to hit the reset button. There may be a potential job offer for you. Realize that you have the choice to say no. You have the opportunity to make new friends, but it's your choice when you want to socialize. Also, it sounds like you have the opportunity to begin a new venture. Kurt, I understand you're very hesitant because of your past. You're afraid of building new relationships, romantic, interpersonal and professional. But you need to understand that you can't stay in your safe zone forever. You can't decide to shut people out because you feel like they'll betray your trust. You need to do your part and rebound when you falter. Because Kurt, 
you'll fall again. You will get hurt. That is life, Kurt. It's full of very high ups and very low downs. What makes it easier, though, are the people that you surround yourself with. Take Kendra, for example. You built a good relationship when you two were younger. You were good to her, and she came to your aid when you needed it most. You was able to get you a job interview. Even though you didn't get the job, it's still uh, an opportunity you wouldn't have had without her. Can you imagine what other opportunities could come to you should you build new friendships? Take chances. Don't be so quick to turn your back, for whatever reason. You're a very good person, Kurt. Show the world who Kurt is. Harsh words, DK! But I guess that's what I need in life. A good shove when I start stepping back. Regarding your fa friend, Kindra. Use what you learned from Cassandra. No contract signing of any kind without a witness. Should you decide to take her offer, you have a lot of great opportunities to right now, Kurt. Again, don't let bad experience prevent you from taking new opportunities. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. She's giving me money for my help, though. I guess you can say she's my boss now. Oh, that reminds me. I have money now, DK. I would really love to repay you for your for the past sessions. Kurt. We discussed this before. Then let me pay for today at least. Please. Today wasn't a session. These were your words. Claire, please. Do you have enough uh, for food and gas? More than enough? <sighs> Very well. Ten dollars. <laughs> Who are you to tell me what my fees should be? Oh, DK, you win this round. Do you have the dollar app? I do. It's linked to my number, the one you have. No, we're not gonna one up her. When that, and also, we are not here to tell her what her time is worth. So. This is not me being greedy, this is me respecting her. And, you know, here you go, DK. Buy yourself something nice. <laughs> With ten whole dollars. He has bought me coffee for a week. Thank you, Kurt. Alright, DK. I've taken enough of your time. Kurt, please consider what I said today. Test yourself and take steps forward on it towards uncharted paths. Don't be afraid of what lies beyond. You owe it to yourself to have a happy life, but you'll never find something precious unless you face your fears. I'll try DK. Now I think it's uh, good to be flirting with her. I mean, he has shown interest in her a long time. I don't think I'm gonna go for anything. But it's still fun. She she seems to uh, accept that. So long as it makes you smile. All right. Wait, what? So long as it makes you smile. Smile, smile. Okay. All right. Time to go. <laughs> Bye, DK. Kurt? Sometimes you use your humor to hide your emotions. Thank you for coming to me to talk about them. You're on the right track. Thanks, Claire. Can I show those on YouTube? I'm not sure, honestly. I might have to look that up. Uh, but, <laughs> but that is the end of today's episode. Uh, yeah, Claire is uh, a good psychiatrist, I would say. Thank you guys for watching, and thank you, Joseph, for not donating directly to my coffee page. If you want to see my games uncensored, you can do so over at spicygaming.net. I'll see you guys in the next one, and remember, 
Just because you're not the main character, that's not mean you're not important. Goodbye everyone.